modern car is very sophisticated. All kinds of computer controls and things that'll make you scratch your head or some other part of your anatomy. But one thing to remember, and that is underneath all of this sophisticated stuff, typically are going to be some parts that haven't changed much over the years. And what we're talking about here is thermostats. You see, a thermostat hasn't changed on most cars. Now, granted, there are some out there that are electronically controlled and so on, but the majority of them are still mechanical thermostats to maintain engine temperature. Now, remember that a thermostat has no control over maximum temperature. It only controls minimum temperature. Now, lots of times you'll find that you have a check engine light and you have a coolant code that is telling you that the car is running too cold. We find a lot of that. Now, things that happen here. You see, lots of folks think, well, thermostat, nothing to it. I can do it myself. Yes, you can, but you have to pay attention to detail. You see, the way thermostats work, let's take this one for instance. Right down in here is a little chamber. That chamber is filled with wax and when the coolant temperature rises, the wax melts and it pushes this thermostat open. That allows coolant to flow through here. And the end result is by moving up and down, it regulates the temperature of the engine. All right, now, if you have a coolant problem, it's a temperature related problem. Remember that the first thing you always check is the thermostat, it's so basic but a lot of people overlook it. Now, when it comes time to replace that thermostat, don't cut corners. Buy a good one. If need be, buy one from a dealer. Now, the big thing here is you have to use a little bit of common sense with these things. Now, one that we saw right here, this one, if we look down here, we see that, let's get a pen here so we can point this out we see that there's a seal right here. Well, part of this seal is gone completely. Now this car had been to several different shops before it came to my shop. And we have a, a rule here in the shop. We always try to do step number one first. And step number one with a cooling system problems, check the thermostat we did. And we found this problem here. So uh, new thermostat corrected the problem. Now, over here we have one where Harry Homeowner, he was doing this himself. And this has a, a little bit of a tricky O-ring that seals the thermostat in place. Well, uh, he didn't do the proper procedure with the O-ring and it didn't seat properly. Although the system didn't leak or anything like that, the busted up O-ring got into the thermostat. And here it is, it's wedged between the moving part and the body of the thermostat, holding the thermostat open, making the car run too cold. So you have to be careful about getting all of these pieces assembled right. Now the one that I showed you here at first, if we look at this one closely, we can see that down here, this is being held open. Well, again, Harry Homeowner, brand new thermostat, you can see it isn't even dirty yet, what he does, this one was tough to get at. It was kind of a close quarters where the thermostat was mounted. So he's down in there and rather than move a few things out of the way so he had easy access to it, he tries to force it into position. And when he did, he bent this entire housing so that it no longer works properly. Thermostat is held open and he had a check engine light and a code. So rule is, if you have a cooling system problem, always check the thermostat. If you have a car that has overheated, seriously overheated, don't trust the thermostat. Always, as part of your repair for overheating, put a new thermostat in. It can save you an engine. And if you have a question or a comment, drop me a line at goss-garage.com.